The Smithsonian traveling exhibit, Dolores Huerta, Revolution in the Field, Revolución en los Campos, opened March 9, 2019 at the California Museum in Sacramento, the very first appearance of the traveling exhibit anywhere. Walking into the museum, the first thing we see is a placard announcing the exhibit with Harvey Richards' iconic photo of Dolores Huerta holding up the Huelga sign during the grape strike of 1965. We started off our visit to the museum with a presentation called Dolores Huerta in Conversation in the museum's theater, packed with ticket holders eagerly awaiting a conversation between Jennifer Seabell Newsom, Governor Gavin Newsom's wife, and Dolores Huerta. Tickets sold out the very first day they were offered. Dolores took her place on the stage and fielded questions with answers that always returned to her main concerns for expanding, organizing, and voting efforts. Her deep understanding of the current political situation in the state gave us all an appreciation for her continued activism and advocacy for farm workers. She filled the room with her magnetism and brilliance, inspiring everyone to stand up and applaud at the end, which Dolores quickly turned into a rhythmic cadence clap in unison, bringing us all together. You can see a webcast of the conversation by clicking on the link provided in this blog post. After the conversation, we went up to the second floor to see the exhibit, Dolores Huerta, Revolution in the Field, Revolución en los Campos. The first thing greeting us at the entrance to the huge exhibit was my video, Hasta Sacramento, a seven minute excerpt from my dad, Harvey Richards' film, The Land is Rich. People were standing there watching it as it played in a loop, repeating itself continuously. Then I continued my way through the exhibit, set around a central curving wall showing a vast number of historical photos, posters, and explanatory essays. It was humbling and thrilling to see how the photos from the Harvey Richards Media Archive were displayed. They were large, prominently placed, and beautifully mounted. My biggest question was how did they display the eight-foot-tall mural of Harvey's iconic photo of Dolores holding up the Huelga sign? Dolores had appeared in front of this photo mural in Washington, D.C. when the original exhibit called One Life, Dolores Huerta, opened back in 2015. I rounded the corner at the end of the curved central wall, and there it was, mounted on a cloth backing as big as life. We took our picture in front of it, as did many others in the exhibit. Altogether a remarkable and moving experience which I recommend to everyone. In the afternoon, the California Museum hosted a curator's talk featuring Dr. Tiana Carabol of the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery, who was responsible for initiating the original exhibit, One Life, Dolores Huerta. You can watch a webcast of her presentation by clicking on the link in this post. Dr. Carabol recounts her remarkable journey creating the exhibit from researching to acquiring and assembling the exhibit itself. I was honored to be mentioned in her thank yous to all of the contributors to the exhibit and for her giving credit to Harvey Richards for his popular photo of Dolores Huerta with the Huelga sign that is the emblem for the whole show. She shared the mic with audience members, including Smithsonian's Maria del Carmen Cosi, who was responsible for transforming the One Life exhibit into the traveling exhibition, and with Dolores Huerta herself speaking from the floor in the audience. I'm so grateful to the Smithsonian Institution, and especially to Maria del Carmen Cosi, for including the images from the Harvey Richards Media Archive in the show. The exhibit offers educators a unique opportunity to learn and share more about Dolores Huerta and her pivotal role in the history of our state and nation. The Smithsonian created a path-breaking app for the Dolores Huerta exhibit, which students and teachers can add to their smartphones and tablets, giving them instant access to a whole range of topics featured in the exhibit. The images that appear on the landing page of the app are doorways to many videos of Dolores and others talking about a range of related topics. Harvey Richards' photos are prominently featured in these doorway images. The links in this post will take you to the download sites for the app for Mac and Android devices. Another important educational tool coming out of the exhibit can be found on the Smithsonian Learning Lab. Materials for the Learning Lab are still in the process of being created for this exhibition. 
so check it out now and in the future. The exhibition will be in Sacramento until July 7, 2019, and then will travel to other museums around the country over the next few years. It moves next to Stockton in August 2019. Don't miss it. Also, mark your calendars for April 10, 2019 for the first Dolores Huerta Day, enacted in 2018 to recognize the legendary Latina activist by encouraging Californians to participate in a day of community service in her honor. The California Museum is marking the day with free admission to all of its exhibits.